Quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's show called High Five. Today we are relaunching the Go Mix and Match five inch cube with its companion set corners and angles as well as the five inch setting triangle style. I love them. All of our favorite things. All of our favorite things. The five inch mix and match cube companion sets and setting triangles rounded out the Go Cube mix and match block set collection. It brought our total number of cubes up to seven. That's right. Now the five inch cube is perfect for small piecing and miniature quilts. But today we're gonna show you how to pair the five inch cube yep. with the 10 inch cube. Plus one of our favorite designers, Gina Jempasa, will be joining us a little later. And we're gonna hear about a new pattern she's created using that five inch cube. Oh, I can't wait. Now, as always, we've got a lot of fun planned for you today. We've got some wonderful yeah. prizes. Wait oh, till you hear wait. the prizes exciting project ideas, and a totally inspirational trunk show with some all new patterns. All right, let's not wait any longer. Here's a look at our Go Cube Mix and Match five inch block. Quilters, the Go Cube Mix and Match five inch block, the Go Cube five inch companion set angles, and the Go Cube five inch companion set corners are gonna put you over the quilting moon. This five inch finish size features all the same shapes as our other cubes, just in a different size, making it just right for every quilter. The dies in these cubes are compatible with all of our Go Fabric cutters and the Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. Take a look at the eight shapes that make up the Go Cube Mix and Match five inch block. These shapes will all work together to make over 72 different quilt blocks. But that's not all. Add in the Go Cube five inch companion sets for even more creative possibilities. The Go Cube five inch companion set corners adds four more shapes, a chisel, a signature block, and a two-piece bow tie with a half square triangle, adding 72 more possible blocks for a total of 144. Take your block total up to 216 when you add the Go Cube Companion Set angles with kite, triangle in a square center, half rectangle triangles, and a trapezoid. Each Go Mix and Match block and companion set includes the corresponding cutting mat and a pattern book to help you get started. Housed in an innovative storage box. Each shape includes a perfect quarter inch seam and specialized dog ears for easy piecing and picture perfect results every single time. This cube and companions will work beautifully with other dies as well like the 10 inch cubes and bobs or block on board dies that finish to 10 inches, as well as the five inch setting triangles die. The sky's the limit as you explore hundreds of free patterns on AccuQuilt's website. Translate your favorite patterns into die cut designs and more. For more information on how the Go Cube mix and match block system works, how it can bring more joy to the art you love and why it belongs in your collection, be sure to watch our Go Cube videos, virtual live events, and check out our website or visit your local AccuQuilt retailer. Because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Okay, now quilters, we're gonna talk about how the five and 10 inch cube works yes. together, but you could also use the four and the eight. Six or, and 12. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. All the shapes in the cube are all the same, but we're gonna talk today about the five and the 10. That's right. All right, quilters, and on that note, we have several specially marked down five inch mix and match cube bundles that are available for you today. To get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party, you'll see the bundles and you can place your order. That way, you're not gonna miss out on a minute of the show. And the first bundle we have is the Go Cube five inch complete die bundle. This one comes with the Go Cube mix and match five inch block, the companion sets corners and angles five inch, and the two and a half inch strip die, a six by 24 cutting mat, and the Go Cube mix and match blocks and quilt pattern book, which is amazing. We're gonna show you that in a yes. little bit. 
Yes. And, and oh, and a six by 24. I was going to say, don't forget the ruler. Yes. The next bundle up is the Go Cubed five inch die set. Now this bundle comes with the Go Cube mix and match five inch finish block, that two and a half inch strip cutter, a six by 24 inch cutting mat, the Go Cube mix and match box and quilts pattern book by Eleanor Burns again, and that six by 24 inch ruler. Now the third bundle available today is the Go Cube five inch exclusive on point bundle. This one features the mix and match five inch cube, the companion set corners and angles, and those go setting triangles that finish to five inches, a six by 24 cutting mat, and the go cube mix and match block system pattern book. Now, last but certainly not least is the go cube five inch exclusive die bundle. This one's going to include, of course, our five inch mix and match cube, the two matching companion sets, corners and angles, and the go mix and match pattern system book. Now that's not all. Oh, yes. That's oh, that's not all. Not all. Uh, today you're going to receive double reward points when you place your order. You can use those reward points towards future AccuQuilt.com purchases. Great day to buy. Sorry to startle you there. I know. I was listening to what you had to say. <laughs> she was <laughs> in That rest doesn't happen often. The melodious <laughs> sound of my voice. Yeah, she just was in a happen. daze. You can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. Now to find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. Now, if you don't have an AccuQuilt retailer near you, be sure to let your local quilt shop know that you would love to see our Go products sold there. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're all about the high fives today and our newest cube, the five inch size. Now, I want you to know, Eric and I, we were able to test this cube. Yes. And we had tons of fun with this size um, cube. So let's open up a box and see what's inside. That's right. Now remember, the shapes inside every cube are the same. They're just in different sizes. So working on a four patch system or a two by two grid, the blocks made with this cube are going to finish at five inches. Right. So let's take a look and let's take a look at those pieces because they are so cute. The first thing we're gonna pull out is our skinny one and it has a pattern book and a map, but why do we pull Absolutely. it first? Absolutely, because that way we don't break a nail. Yes. I mean, priorities, Erica, ladies, Erica priorities. All taken care of for Priorities. Us. All right, so now the cool thing about the cube system is this is how you should store your dies, quilters. We get this question all yes. the time. You should store them like books on a shelf, not one on top of each other. The weight of the t dies on top will damage the blades. Or the poor monkey on the bottom the is going to get on the it. bottom. Okay. It's going to get hurt. So let's talk about this. And Erica okay. has a whole bunch of. I do, I do, I do. Patch. I have a four patch. Okay. So shape number one in every. That's the little one. Is, yeah, right there to the left is the orange one. Look, look, all the way to the left. Oh, there it is. I'm like, this is too small. It is. Ta-da. There we go. Okay, shape number one in every cube is a square, a large square. Mm -hmm. Four of them sewn together in this case makes a four in, or five inch finished block. Yes. Because we have that quarter inch seam allowance. That's right. Okay, now. So put this here and then we can talk about now it. Now we can talk. Shape number two in every cube are smaller squares. Ah. Um, so they're big squares and little squares. Four of these sewn together equals one. Shape number one. Uh, shape number one. Now don't look at that and say, but it doesn't. There's seam allowance. Okay. Quarter inch seam allowance. That's right. Okay. Shape number three in every cube is my all time favorite shape. These are large half square triangles. The cool thing about half square triangles is we've cut off the dog ears from this point here to this point here. Perfect quarter inch seam. That's right. Two of these sewn together equals shape number one. There we go again. Okay. Look at that. Yep. All right, now here we go, ready? Shape number four in every tricky. cube are quarter square triangles. Again, they have the dog ears cut off and that quarter inch seam allowance. But Erica, talk about quarter square triangles and why they're different than half square they triangles. They are different and I know quilters want to just sew them together, but it's all about the lengthwise grain. So when you look at how those quarter inch are laid on the die board, that's so that you have your tighter grain on the outside of your unit versus having the absolutely bi bias. the bias on the outside like Wonkiness. you would. So that makes the difference and it equals shape number one. All right, so those are the first four shapes in every cube. There we go. The next shape is small half square triangles. So we have big squares and little squares, big half square triangles and little half square triangles. And one thing I love about this die is look how many you're cutting. Eight. Eight. 
Eight. Take that time six layers. 48. There you go. Good. Look at us doing Look at math that. on the fly. Math on the fly. Okay, so half square triangles sewn together. Now, some of you are going to say to us, I'm never going to use shape number five because look how small those half square triangles are. Au contraire. Au contraire. It is the workhorse die of the cube system, and here's why. It allows other shapes to become new shapes. So shape number six is a square in point. Yes, it's a square but it's meant to live on its tippy toes like a cute little ballerina. Yep. And Erica, what's the shape on the outside? Well, that happens to be the small half square triangle number five. Yep. And again, that unit then is gonna equal shape number one. Shape number one, always. Shape number seven in every cube are parallelograms. There we go. So they are. What's the important thing to remember about a parallelogram? It is a directional shape, so it matters whether you cut your fabric right side up or right side down. Yeah. And you'll need to watch your pattern for that. So right. again, read your patterns. Right, and the shape that you add to the long side, not the short side. Oh, that would be shape number five, that small half square triangle once again. I love it. All right, shape number eight in every cube are rectangles. So here are two sewn together, they equal shape number one. Indeed they do. All right, so those are the eight shapes in every cube. And in this one, they equal, uh, sewn together, they equal five inches. There you go. All right. So let's take a look at some blocks that we've built with five inch finish squares. Oh, square, let's do it. That are five inch finish squares. Okay. We've got a couple samples so, here. So again, it's that four patch system, right? Yes. So you just take and break it down. Okay, so these are small squares, shape number two, and small half square triangles, which are shape number mm -hmm. five. Mm -hmm. Here are those big half square triangles and small half square triangles. That's right. Big squares, little squares. Big squares and little squares. Candy corn. Candy corn. This is this I made this specially for you. So <laughs> this this actually is branching out. We're going to talk about our companions in a little bit, but this trapezoid shape does come in our companions. Yep. Now these aren't magical blocks that you and I sat and 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 dreamed up in our no, quilting heads. No. These are part of those mix and match blocks that you can make with each and every cube. There are 72 of them. They are free downloadable patterns at AccuQuilt.com. Let's talk about this one because we need to talk about flying we geese. We do. So there are flying geese inside each and every, every cube. cube. So flying geese are made with your quarter square triangle for the goose body, if you will. Which is shape number shape four. Shape number four. And the wings or the outside edges are made with the small half square triangle. And that's the same whether you're working with a four inch, six, Five, whatever size cube you're working with, four and five will make flying geese for you. Excellent, and when flying geese are sewn together, they equal shape number? Eight, the yep. rectangle. So if you wanna know how big the flying geese unit from any cube will be, yep. take a look at how big the rectangle in that cube is, and there's your answer. There you go. We had so many, so much fun making five. We did indeed. All right, don't let these go too far. We may play with them later. I think we are. All right. Now, we've invited quilter and designer Gina Jempasa to join us today to discuss inspiration she came up with using her five and 10 inch cubes. And I love so many of the things that Gina does. We do, we really do. She's that bright modern quilter and she does cool little corners and stuff. Wait till you see. Yeah. So Gina started quilting over 20 years ago. And at that, and in that time, she's worked and taught at several local quilt shops. Her pattern design started appearing in magazines and books back in 2008, and she's also written patterns for fabric companies and for AccuQuilt, of course. Back in 2017, she appeared on Fonz and Porter's Love of Quilting television show. Wow. Now these days, she's exploring the world of long arm quilting in addition to her regular quilting activities. Gina's on the East Coast. She lives in Eastern Pennsylvania with her beloved and she says tolerant husband yes. and her cat who loves her quilts and sweetly patient dog. So without further ado, welcome to the show, Miss Gina. Hi, Gina. Hello. Hi, Gina. We should also mention that she has like the snazziest glasses ever. Always, always Gina looks great. Always. And when we had our little touch base with her last week, she was at a quilt retreat. How was your retreat? Oh, it was wonderful. I mean, what can be a whole week with your friends, just quilting, the 
the thaw them away. Yeah. Oh, and just eating and quilting. I love it. Fabulous. Yes. All right, so yep. Gina, before we discuss your inspiration using the five and 10 inch cubes, you've also come up with ideas using the Go Chimney Sweep die. So can you tell us a little bit about what you've created using that die because it also finishes to 10 inches. Right. Yes, it's, it's a perfect lock to pair with their 10 inch cube or five inch cube um, locks um, because it, is a ten, it finishes to 10 inches. So I wanted to see what would happen with a woven look, how I can make it into a woven. Oh, see, look at that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so you can see the original chimney sweep lock and then I just took those two shape Bs right in the middle there and changed it to two shape Cs. Look so I have that. one red and one light blue and all of a sudden it looks woven. That is so clever and that is such a great idea. Take the shapes that are already there on the die mm -hmm. board and see what else you can do with them. Okay, that's so clever. That is Absolutely. so clever. Okay. I don't think I ever would have come up with that, Gina. No, not my quilting head. Oh. It, it's fun. It's it's an adventure trying to figure out how things work, can work, you know. There you go. All right. Now, you have quilt block inspiration that you've also come up with using the 5 and 10 inch cube. So I think we've got another graphic so yes. that you can walk us through what you made with this. Yeah. So I was thinking, what that. if you were using your 10 inch cube, what kind of a block you could come up with? And that's block one, as you can see. You know, you can come up with a really nice block, a quick quilt. There's some flying geese and half square triangles. And then I thought, well, what can you do if you were just limited to a five inch cube? If that's all you had, a five that? inch cube. Look at that. Corners and the middle block is exactly that. That's all made from a five inch cube and it, uh, the five inch companion corners set. Wow. That, that is like four five inch blocks together yeah. to make one inch block right. if you, can, you know imagine so it's a lot of a lot more smaller pieces obviously yeah. because you're five inch cube so but for this quilt i thought well you know what how about we mix and match the five inch and a 10 inch cube pieces and that's what the block three is it it's actually a really nice and an easy approach um, okay, I, I like that, the fact that it's not all tiny little pieces and it's right. not all big pieces. Right. It's right. such a yes, great so marriage like of the two. Yes. Okay. Yes. That so. is super fun. Okay, this that's what always happens when we're focused we're on something. Okay. All right, you've also <laughs> created a free pattern for our quilters to download at acuquilt.com. Acuquilt um, I know. It's a wall hanging called Go Star Crossing. So I'm going to come back and point to it, and you can tell us your process for coming up with the design. Because here it is, and it's fabulous. It's fabulous. Thank you. So then we've, and we've got a graphic for it too. Oh, okay. do we? Oh, okay. Yeah, Let's we've got a graphic, graphic for it too, which might be easier to see the pieces. Right. Okay. Because so, it looks like those blocks are bigger than they are, right? Yes. Right. Yeah, they look like they could be 15 inch blocks, right. but really the 10 inch block. And then you piece your sashing in such a way that when you combine it with that block, all of a sudden, it transforms itself into something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, I it's, get it's it so now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a session. little slow on the uptake today. It's, it's like the light bulb goes off, Gina. I just Gina. now figured out that the one on the yeah. left fits in the center yes. of the center one to create the block. And Good see, job, she's Gina. she's made the look with using the red in that center block right. for the corners of the, the corners and then the center of the flying geese. And that makes that design Secondary design there. yes and it makes it look like it's just one block it does and, it's and it very looks cool. curvy all of a sudden it looks curvy it does look curvy you're right that but is yeah, but it's, it's all about the magic of using piece sashing and quilt itself you put together just like you would with blocks and sashing yep block wow. sashing and cornerstones very straightforward piecing yeah but you know, I was just happy with how it turned okay. out. Next year, not today. Next <laughs> year, I'm going to do quilts with pieced sashing. Because I just usually just do strips. Yeah. And that was brilliant because yeah. it created such it a different design. such a different design. Wow.
All right, Gina, as always, we are ever inspired by your designs and patterns. We are so <laughs> glad you could join us today to talk about what you did with the five and the 10 inch cubes for us. I love this. Yeah, thank you so much for being part of our show today. Oh, you're welcome. It was my pleasure. Thanks right. so much. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Thanks Gina. Bye-bye. Right. Okay, before we go on, shall we talk about this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because now I get it. Now you get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, try not to hit the light. Okay, here's the 10 inch block. Right. Okay, here's the 10 inch chimney sweep. See right. how they're the same? Uh huh. Okay, it's the sashing right. that is pieced. So the sashing has flying geese, flying geese, and squares. Yep. Half square triangles, flying geese in the opposite direction, yep. right? Okay, that is my goal for 2023 <laughs> is that I'm gonna make quilts with sashing that are pieced because it makes it look like it's a huge bigger block. Right. And I love it's the not. chimney sweep block, but show point yeah. out so right there right here. in the pattern, that's like a rectangle, and instead she's used the square. Right and that way it look, gets that woven look. Yeah, Amazing. so this is shape number C, right? Yes. Yeah, and then it gives it that woven look. Okay, oh, she's brilliant. She is. Good job, Gina. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, Pam, but after that, I think we should give somebody besides Gina yeah. a quilting high five. There we go. With a great giveaway. Wait till you hear this. Wait we never do see. this. Let's give away a Go Cube Mix and Match 5 inch block. Oh, let's, Pam. To someone who is registered for today's show. And don't forget that 5 inch cube, it's going to fit through all of our cutters, including the Go That's Me. right. Yeah. That's right. All, all right. right. The lucky, lucky winner of a 5 inch Mix and Match cube is, drum roll, please. <laughs> Sherry C from Green Coast. Springs, Florida. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, she's gonna love it. Oh, yes. All right, close your If you're not already, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. That's right. We love to share your stories, quilts, and more. In fact, did you know that we share our behind the scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram? And I think last, after last week's show, you might get a sneak peek of Miss Oakley. Yep, you just She was might. here with a Santa hat. All right, you definitely don't want to miss out on the annex. All right, now, as you know, Eric and I, we hate to do math. Yes. Okay? That is not a secret. But both Eric and I can figure out that the five inch cube is a natural to work with the 10 inch cube. That's right. Because shape number one in the 10 inch cube being five inches is a finished square, right? Finish right, square. right. So shall we pull out shape yes. number one? Okay. Yes. Hold on here. All right, hold please. Okay, so this is a four patch. So using that shape number one, this is what you're going to create. So you're gonna sew four of them together. That's gonna to give you your 10 inch finished block. Right. Okay, now remember the five inch cube will fit through all of our cutters, oh, including that go me. The 10 inch you need the go or the go big, okay? That's true. All right, I, I just try to make sure everybody knows what's happening here. All right, so we're gonna open it up and we're just gonna pull out shape number one. Yep. Okay. So you can see these are, several of these shapes are on 10 by 10 die boards. And it comes with a 10 by 10 and a six by six cutting mat. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is shape number one. There you go. Four of those sewn together equals a 10 inch finished block. That's right. I do love the 10 inch cube. You know why? Why? Because I can do that math. Yeah, there we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. Okay. Well, working with these two together kind of inspired me to work on some creative possibilities. So I've been working on some things, putting them together. So we're going to take a look at some of the things that I've come up with. Okay, hold on here. Let me just put okay. this cube right back here. It's okay. It takes me a minute. Oh, there we go. So we know that if we take shape number one. Yes and we do two by two or a four yes. patch, we're gonna get a 10 inch finish block. We are. But what if we take those shapes and we do a three by three grid? Oh, so. Or a nine patch. So five and five and five is 15. That's right, five so five I used five. it and I made a 15 inch, very thready little churn dash. I love churn dash now, blocks. Now, there are churn dash in every cube. That's this right. Is shape number one. Exactly. Shape number eight and shape number three. That's right. So if you use the five inch cube, how big is your churn dash? Uh, 
seven and a half seven inches. and a half inches well there you Look go at student math on there the you fly. go or if you use your five inch block and piece a block Look at that. then you could put it in the middle of your churn dash and this is kind of what gina was showing this us. is kind of what she was How showing you us can take bigger and smaller right. elements and you could actually Put it in the corners. Right, you can, you can use these any, any way that you want to. So you can mix and match those. And you would get a totally different look depending on what you did with it. Oh, I like that one. This is fun too, Little isn't it? Little pinwheels in the middle. As we were looking at it on the screen, we can see what it looks like yes. better. So no matter what you use, you know, you make any of those 72 blocks, you frame it out with a big churn dash, you've got a 15 inch block that's got a whole lot of interest in it, doesn't it? It does. And look at this, you could do black and white and candy corn. You could. Just for Halloween. You absolutely could. Okay, I like this a lot. Now, that was really fun, but what I liked that I came up with the most, what I liked the most, was this one. And okay, this, this block's is super even cool. bigger. This is a 20 inch block. Now to do this, I started with my five inch cube. Okay. And I made a cute little five inch block. Pretty simple, pretty yeah. straightforward. Then I moved out and but wait, I- let's talk, it let's has talk. flying geese. It has flying geese. So okay. again, that's the, from the five inch right. cube. So then I, and this is the, the big square. Shape number one. Shape number one. And shape number five. So this is this, is this shape. Well, then I wanted to build it out. So then I took, and I took the flying geese from the 10 inch oh, cube. See. And I took the small half square triangles from the 10 inch. Yes, shape number five. And there we go. So but I didn't want to stop there. No, I wanted to make it bigger because I was having too much fun. So I didn't have a big enough flying geese. So I used the large half square triangles from the five inch cube put two of them together so that you see like a flying geese, except it's pieced down the center. And that this. gave me the 20 inch block. Now, could we go ahead and expand this out? Well, we could do something like Gina did. Think about using yes. what Gina did and, and coming up with a piece sashing then that would make it appear to be even bigger. It's my goal for 2023. <laughs> All right, quilters, now to increase your options, I love that big block. Thank you. Um, you'll want to make sure you have the companion sets, corners and angles to go along with the five and 10 inch cubes. That's right. Now, each companion set brings four more shapes to the party, but remember they're designed to work along the mix and match cube. So if you have the five inch cube, you need the five inch companions, right. 10 inch cube, 10 inch companions and so forth. And again, now we've added four more shapes in each cube. So we went from 72 mix and match patterns to 144 to 216 Wow. Free at AccuQuilt.com. That's right. All right, so here's our companion sets. Okay, so we've got corners and we've got angles. So shall we start with corners? Sure. Okay, so corners is gonna start with. I'm gonna pull the skinny one out first. It yep. has a mat and a pattern book. Okay, and again, that same, that same four patch system. That's right. So shape number nine in our companion sets is the shape, it is a chisel shape. Tell us about the chisel, the Erica. The chisel, now the chisel is like a rectangle that has its corner chopped off. Right. And you're gonna substitute that corner with the small half square triangle that's in your mix and match cube. That's why we say they have to match. Right. And then this is our signature block. This is one of the dies that um, Gina used in her block. And again, you're gonna need shape number five on the outside of that to equal shape number one. That's right. 10 and 11 work together, Erica. This is bow ties, and it'll also do a cute little snowball block so if like it's you June, see here. you can make bow ties. That's if it's right. January, you can make snowballs. snowballs. But you can twist and turn these along a lot of different ways. You're gonna see them used in a very clever border coming up in the trunk show. Yes, okay. So we wanted to, of course, we're talking about how they compare. So here's a look at that signature block using, here, I'll put it over here, sorry, Justin. Um, the 10 in, from the 10 inch versus the one from the five inch. Look at that. So you could do some pretty fun things with putting those two together too, I think. That. You could do build some fun patterns. So if you put four of those together, you're gonna come up with a, an X or something like this. I'm gonna move that just a little bit over there. 
So if I took, but if I took my large square from my five inch cube and did a 16 patch, I could put it next to that. And this then would create a whole secondary design yeah. of a secondary square coming around it. Look at how fun that is. So fun things to do. And again, we've got, we're mixing, we're matching, and anything that you do with one cube, you of course can do right. with so your Right, so again, others. you could use your four and your eight, your six and your 12. Yep. We're gonna use the five and the 10. Yep, exactly. All right, All right. so now we've seen corners. Our, let's see, angles. All righty. And quilters ask us all the time, which companion set should I get? And the answer is today they're in a bundle, get them both. Yes. Our bundles are marked down. Yes. Okay, the first two shapes are these two shapes and they make triangle in a square, okay? So this, what kind of triangle is it? That is actually an isosceles. Now a lot of it people is. will look at that and think that it is an equilateral, but it, it is, is not. not. And these are half rectangle triangles. They'll go together to create a rectangle, but they also will fit on the sides of that triangle to make it a square that equals shape number one back in our mix and match. And the next shape is the kite shape. And you're also gonna use those little half rectangle triangles to create exactly. a square there. Okay. And the last shape is the shape that neither Erica nor I have ever cut by hand, and that would be our friend, the trapezoid. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's two of them put together. Yeah, two of them put together with shape number there. five on the outside. Because mm -hmm. why would we do that? There is a die Exactly, for exactly. Okay, so, so those are the shapes in the companion set angle. They're the same in every cube. That's right. So here's our comparison. This is using the 10 inch. And these are the half rectangle triangles. So what I did was put them together and I laid them out and I thought, oh, that's kind of a cool giant diamond and I'm seeing that in a lot of patterns. Oh, that is brilliant. But then I went back and I used the small half square triangle, number five, in my five inch mix and match and sewed that across the corner. It creates the look of the square in the center and there we go. Look at that. Okay, and how big does that block finish to? So this is gonna be 10 by five. Oh, that is super cool. Isn't that fun? Uh-huh. So you're seeing this motif in a lot of quilts right now. Okay, and then quilters, cause we could, we could take four of them um, from the five inch cube and it would- You could. Make, so you could have a fat one and then a skinny row. Yes. And a oh. fat row and a skinny row. Yes. Oh. Or you could just make lots of these. I'm down for just making or lots you of could these. use, <laughs> Or you could use setting squares. Okay, right, so think about this like in winter colors, because mm -hmm. does it not look like icicles? Like icicles. Okay, quilters, go for it. This is what happens when we start doing this. Yeah. Come up with ideas. Now today really is all about the five inch cube and how it can be used with the 10 inch cube. And with that in mind, we want to know which go cubes are your favorite to mix and match? So there's no voting poll today. That's you can right. just let us know your answers in the comment section wherever you stream our show. And the lovely Madison and her sister Rachel will let us know. That's right. The answers. All right. Now quilters, if you're looking for extra tips, tricks, tutorials, and exclusive patterns, be sure to check out and subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. Now a couple weeks ago, I wrote a post all about translating quilt patterns with mm -hmm. the go cube mix and match system. So be sure to check it out. Yeah, that was based on one of our shows that we did as well. Mm -hmm. It's just such a mm -hmm. great blog. All right, now it is worth noting the versatility of Go Cubes makes translating patterns so much easier than you think. Okay, Eric and I forever we walk into quilt stores. What is the first thing we do? We look at quilts and we go, oh, What die do I use to make that? There is a die for that. Okay, so be sure to subscribe to the blog to be notified when new posts. Uh, go live and discover everything we've mentioned and more. That's right. Now quilters, don't forget, if you're looking for the ultimate starter set pack to get started with the five inch mix and match cube, snatch up the Go Cube five inch exclusive die bundle. And the Go Cube's five inch exclusive on point bundle is also wonderful for quilters wanting to get started with the five inch mix and match cube and its companion sets. Now we're also offering double reward points when you place your orders today. So be sure to place those orders and get those points that you can use towards future AccuQuilt.com purchases. And don't forget, we have just over 20 of our lucky star dies left. Yes. 
Well, that was at the beginning. That of the was morning. at the beginning of the morning. It's so so they will to. not last yeah. through the day. If you want a lucky star, it was our die to try. And it finishes to 10 inches, so it would work oh. with the five and 10 inch cubes. Oh, there you go. Okay, there make you sure go. you add it to your collection. Actually, it is one of my favorites. They may not last till the end of the show. Get no. your order in Get right it in now. now. All right, quilters, our friends at Timeless Treasures. Ooh, these are so Sorry. pretty. I was, I was thinking about the lucky star <laughs> die. <laughs> Just all um, our friends creative at Timeless juices are flowing. And there's one is to give away um, our, our quilters a high five. So they've provided two lovely selections of fabric for us to give away. And Erica, would you think that this may be in a project for the trunk show? Why, I bet it is, Miss yeah. Pam. Look at this, blues. I okay, love them. Wait, where's your block? Show oh, me your block. Which one? No, this one? Right this one. Okay. So look. Oh, yeah. You could totally make that in winter colors. Winter colors. Yep. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. But we're going to give them away. <laughs> yes. And we want to see what you do with them. Yeah, share them with us That's on our right. social media. So the first winner of one of these yummy Trimus Treasures selections of fabric is, drum roll please, <laughs> Laura S of Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. And the second winner of a selection of fabric is, drum roll please, Mary J of Dowling Park, Florida. Congratulations. Congratulations. And a huge shout out to Timeless Treasures for sponsoring our show today. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Now, to really make the most of creating with the five and 10 inch cubes, you're oh. gonna want to have setting triangles. You are. And I'll move my drink so we can yes. open up the cube. There we go. All right, setting triangles are used to set blocks on point like this. Okay, so we have oh, a whole bunch. Yes, so we do. So let's take one so that'll look good. So here is how with... the normal block looks. Here's how the normal block looks. Okay, we'll just take three of them. Now we're gonna turn them on point like this and it gives the project an entirely different mm -hmm. look. It really okay? does. But now I have to, t I really have to tell you that before we had this die, I avoided doing setting triangles. Oh, yes, indeed. I did too. Yeah. And the first time I tried it, I thought, okay, how hard can this be? Right. I just cut a square and I cut it in half. And I figured that would work. But that puts the bias or the stretchiest part of the fabric on the outside of your quilt. Now that bias has so much stretch that by the time you get it all put together, it probably won't lay flat. And your quilt, like mine, could be wonky. Yeah, and I did it one time, Erica. I'll totally fess up to this. I actually cut a block bigger, a square bigger. Yeah. Because I didn't know how to right, do that math. Right. And then I kind of cut it a little bit and then I sewed it and then I trimmed the whole thing. Yeah, right. It was a mess. All and, right. Yeah. Let's take a look at the way you should do it, yes. which is the five inch setting triangles die. And um, we'll talk about it a little more. Okay, so first of all, it's on a six by 24 die board. Yes. So just like our four, five, six, eight, and nine inch cubes, it will fit through all of our cutters. That's right. Okay. Now these are the side triangles. Yes. There are three of them. And then here are the um, half square triangles that fit on the end. That's right, that's okay. right. So the key here is to make sure that this is laid so that your lengthwise grain or your selvage edge is gonna be parallel to this long blade. Yep. And I cut this off, I cut the selvage off so you can't see yeah. it. But six layers, we can always cut six layers with our go cutters and I bet we have a mount. I bet we do. I have one right here. Can she bend? Yes. Yes, in fact, she can. I can. Better okay. you than me. Okay, here we go. Now, we didn't show this trick earlier because we didn't cut two at a time, but we have our go big, so we could actually cut blocks oh, from could. our cube and our setting triangles in one pass. That's true. That's true, we could. So we're gonna let the go big do the work for us. All but, the days. You know, Pam and I, we use our go bigs every single day, don't every we? Every day. Yeah. We could turn the handle, but why I would could. we turn the handle if we didn't have to? It is too hot to turn the handle. It was there 105 this weekend in Nebraska. It was. All right, give it some love because static builds up here in the Dream Studio. We're going to slide, don't lift. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to show you how these fit over our project. Okay. okay. So these are the sides. So look, nice and tight. That nice and waist. tight. That's how you're going to want them. Okay. So you could make a table runner, you could make a wall hanging, you could make all the things, okay? And then right here, 
Yeah, so if we're making a table runner, then we're going to use those corner sections. Right here. On right over sides. here. And look, I mean, just that. How sweet is that? How right. easy was that? Right. So we have setting triangles that match all the sizes of cubes. Yes. So if you have the four inch cube, we have four inch setting triangles, an eight inch cube and so forth. Okay. That's right. So this, this is for the five inch setting triangles. All right. Shall I take these pieces? You may. And we'll show you that. You want to grab those. But we also have it for the 10 inch. Setting. That's right. And the 10 inch setting triangles are going to work exactly the same mm -hmm. way. Note that this die is on a bigger die board because they're bigger shapes. Yes. So this is on a 10 by 24 board. It will work in a go or a go big, right. just like the 10 inch cube. Imagine that. It's I mean, like we planned it. It's like we planned it all. It all works great. Okay. So keep that in mind. And again, you can always cut six layers and you can make these larger setting yes. triangles. Yes. Yes. Okay, love I love them. it. Love them. All right. Now, quilters, if you're looking for more fun, be sure to join me tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We are going to make blocks from the Go Hashtag Quilt Life pillow pattern, love which this. uses the five inch cube and our mm -hmm. new Go numbers and symbols die. I love it. It's fabulous. Um, we're going to have tons of fun. Make sure you register for your chance to win. I hope to see you there. That's right. You have a door prize, don't you? I do every week. Okay. All right, not as cool as today's. Prizes. Well, today Holy is fantastic. Smokes. All right, today I'm feeling super inspired from the inspiration we've shared and seen today, including the pattern created by our very good friend, Gina Jumpasaw. She's so brilliant. She is. Okay. In fact, I think we should dive into today's trunk show. Oh, let's do. Let's all move right. all of our stuff out of all the right. way and we I will move. fold the patterns. We will move things. All right, the lovely Madison's going to help us here. And we've got some all new patterns that are just Wait, fabulous. See, I hadn't seen some uh, we of We absolutely love this. She was hysterical during rehearsal, yes. mind you. Okay, so this is the Go Tulip Time Table Runner by Susie Webster of Webster Quilts. And look how this looks like a tulip. It does. I just love so this. Talk about the shapes because I feel like it has a trapezoid. Yes. And shape number five. Here's our friend the trapezoid that we never cut on our own. Okay. Never, ever. And the center is the square and a square. Somebody asked me about that yesterday on social media. You could use six and mm -hmm. five. And I think it's P. So I, I think, think these are the big half square yep. triangles from your five inch cube. Yep. And we've got the small half square triangle on one side. And this side, instead of a large half square triangle, she's used two quarter square triangles to make the half square. And that what is what makes that tulip look. And those vibrant, vibrant yeah. batiks, I just love it. Did she turn it on point? She did turn it on point. Now we since she's triangles. built a 10 inch block with her five inch cube, we've got 10 inch setting triangles and corner triangles. So in fact, this is three blocks put together for a table runner, just like we did three mm -hmm. five inch blocks down on the table oh, just here, a minute we'll show you ago. the back because it's super fun. And that's a big tip we always give our quilters is, you know, make a few blocks, make a table runner. You know, that's right. just spend a weekend. That's right. They make great gifts if you have too many, but who can have too many? <laughs> now, if this fa fa pattern looks, this um, fabric. fabric looks familiar, this is what we just gave away. And this is the I'm J Go I'm Just Blue All Over Throw Quilt by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. So of course these job. are timeless treasures. She's used the five inch cube, the 10 inch cube. She's used our five inch finish square. She's and used, look, our she used our pinwheel 10 inch block finish square. Pinwheel. As part of, a four, a, a part of a four patch. The right? square and a square and a square over yeah. there. Oh, talk about the 10 inch square because we have one of those. Yes, we do. So we now have that 10 and a half inch square that will finish at 10 inches. That is a go big exclusive die. It is yeah. too large to fit in anything but our go big electric. If your machine has a handle, you need to go big. But it's really useful to have those squares to work alongside your cubes and your blocks that finish at those sizes. Oh, and you and I talked about setting squares and the fact that we never cut them before because then you have to cut squares. They're so like big, big yes. Yeah. All right, speaking of big, this is little. This is super cute. This is super cute. So this is the Go Broken Stars wall hanging pattern. It's by Bea Lee, a Bea quilter. And I love it. And I love the, the pink and the black and the gray. Yeah, it's very modern look. And the quilting is fabulous because it it's really is straight um, quilting. But again, she used our kite shape mm -hmm. and our triangle in a square shape, which are from our companion's corners. That's right. 
But we got to thinking about the colors, so we tried out some different colors. So let's okay, take look a look at, at what we tried. So here's a red, white, and blue colorway. Right. Totally different look to it, isn't it? And this one is great because then you can see that she used the parallelogram and she used the triangle and a square. And it's just super cool to be able to see that. And see like this, it makes me think of fireworks. Oh yeah, for the 4th of July, absolutely. Yeah. And then this is kind of Halloweeny. This is kind of Halloweeny for Miss Pam. Yeah, I like the I like the um, autumn colors in it. Really fun. We're gonna start thinking about those projects. Our Are you friend, making your fall quilts yet? Are you making fall quilts? I don't know. I just uh, finished Katie, one. Katie, who's on our marketing team, she did all of it. Yes, she did a great job. Good job, Katie. All right. Here, sorry. So next up, Watch we've it. got as this is a super super cool Heidi pattern. Hide more. You Heidi. did a rock star job on this. Sapphires and diamonds wall hanging. What could every girl want? That's right. Sapphires and diamonds, diamonds are a girl's best friend. There so you go. here we go. We've got all kinds of great shapes going on here, and I just. I just love how she's put this okay. together. Okay, talk about the border because it's super so let's cool. Let's look at this border. Yes, I love this. And when we got to looking at it, this is that five inch bow tie. Bow tie. It's like look Gina, she's making pieced sashing and yes. Gosh, they're so, so smart. There's so many. So basically this is a medallion style. It starts yes. with the middle star right here and it works out from there into mm. all the different pieced borders. Triangle and a square, so many designs going. Oh, here, so and look at the back, because it's Oh, yes, batiks. and it's batiks, and it's beautiful. Heidi did a great job. She's from the Whimsical Workshop. So we also wanted to give you a look at some different colorways on this, although I absolutely love this. Yeah, purple is Erica's color. Here you're gonna see a little bit more. You can see how those shapes okay. interact a little bit better here Such on the diagram. colors. Very vibrant. Yeah, look at how pretty that is. And I like the fact that it has several sizes of sashing. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, you know, the border on the edge. Look at and that. And then we've got one other, this and this, this like is fall. very fall-like. Yeah. Are you thinking about fall quilts? Because I know it's 105 in Nebraska. But I know, but if you don't start October. soon, you might not have them done in time, which is yeah. usually what happens to me. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. All right. Next up is another favorite. This is the Go Jubilee pillow pattern. It's by our good friend Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilting. She's used Maywood Studios fabric. And we showed the box. This is made with the five inch cube. Okay, so now look at this. There you go. There we go. Okay, so you would think in your quilting head, this is really hard to make. Yes. And the answer is no, no it's not. Because really, you only ever make two blocks. You make two this block. And that block. block. Over and over again. Terry is yeah. brilliant. And do you not love these colors? I do love them. They've got that summer vintage feel. I yeah. feel like like vintage Florida, Miami kind of colors. With polka dots. With polka dots. Good but job. again, we wanted to take a look at some different looks. And I think this is fun. You know, you get a totally different look from some look just changing this. it. This to me is a totally different pattern. Very much so. And you could, if you're not a pillow person, it's okay. Make a wall hanging. Make a wall a hanging. Topper. Yes. Table topper would be great. Mm -hmm. This is so modern. It's so bold. It doesn't have that vintagey feel that the, the mint green and the pink combo does. Now, you said this was black, but I feel like it would be really cool as like a dark green and red. You could totally it make would it be. Christmas. Very Christmassy. Okay. So then looks at this. This is my Halloweeny one. Yeah, this is the Halloweeny one. The gray and the black. You really, but you see different elements of the design right. by changing out those colors. That's right. All right. Good job, Katie, for doing those color rays. That's her jam. All right. So this is our 10 inch cutting edge throw quilt pattern. And this is a pattern, again, reminder, all the shapes, they're all numbered the same. They're all the same in every cube. So this is a pattern that I think we have available written in different sizes, right. but any quilt can be made, any pattern can be made in different sizes. You just have to adjust the fabric. That's right. Yeah. So this is really actually a simple design. It uses the chisel, yes. that small half square triangle, and the rectangle. I love it. Those are the only shapes here and you get such a fun design. That's so pretty. And there's the back. the back. Look it's got pretty. like little daisies quilted in it. Super cute. Very sweet. Okay. Speaking of daisies, Coming this is a daisies. big one. 
This is a big one. Pam's yeah, I'm, taller I'm tall than I can hold it. She has to hold the quilts. We used our 10 inch Kibben Robert Kaufman fabrics to make daisies. And these are some big daisies. So look, this, we've done a 15 inch block. Right. Signature block, the shape number one, and those small half square triangles. And I love it in the trellis. So if you made this with your eight inch cube, it would be a little bit smaller. I think we should make brown eyed Susans instead of daisies, because I like oh. brown eyed Susans. Well, there you go. I know, but I love that it has that little look of the trellis. And then it's got a daisy print on the back. It's really easy Daisy sweet. prints. Okay. Okay, now here is one that was all new to me. This is the Go Cube 10 inch Starry Spools throw quilt pattern. This is Timeless Treasures fabric. And look at the, okay, this one, I was standing too close to it. I couldn't see it. Here's our spool. Yeah. Erica's like, where's see, the I'm spool? like, where's the spool? It's like an impressionistic painting. You got to stand back a little bit. So and this is beautiful in batik. It really is stunning in it's those batik. Fabulous. So here's our quarter square triangles, um, our bow ties. We've yep. just got fun, fun designs going on with this. I love it. It's beautiful. All right. Da 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 da. Here is the Go Cube 10 inch Vortex Mosaic Throat Quilt. And this one, I think you said, is this Marjorie Busby? Uh, Marjorie Busby. Thank you, Marjorie. So here's our friend, the Trapezoid. Here's yeah. one. Here's the other one with the small half square triangles on the side. That's basically what she's used to create this whole center vortex. And then again, we've gone out and we've pieced the border. Gosh. And here is our bow tie block. Look at that. So, so pretty. Don't and again, overlook those, those borders. I filters. think this was a great trunk show because it had tons of batiks. Lots of batiks, lots of good border treatments. I feel treatments. like it's that time of year. It's a batiky time of year. All of the patterns we've shown you today are available as free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. Be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your cube arrives so you'll be all ready to go. That's right. All right, quilters, earlier in our show, we asked which Go Cubes are your favorite to mix and match. You let us know in the comment section um, you. where you were streaming the show. And I think we have some answers, but should we talk about what's our favorite? We should, we should. You know, I love the four inch cube, but you said you wanted to talk about the four inch cube. No, it's okay. We can talk about it together. But, <laughs> but the four and the eight are such a great set Right. To go together. Well, and the eight is great because it comes in that ready, set, go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, here's something to think about. Um, the eight and the 12. Yes. Because the eight inch cube is on a four patch system, but you could make a nine patch and all the blocks would be 12 inches. So I do like eight right. and 12. And eight and 12 is a great combination. It is. Okay, what's your favorite? Four and? Probably four and eight. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I do love that the eights then I can use to make twelves because sometimes we all know we just want to make big quilt boxes. Yeah. And I, I go back and forth. So after right. I get done making something with a four inch cube that's got a ton of little tiny parts, then I want to make great. I want to go the opposite yeah. direction. I want to make big blocks. Right. So okay, let's see what our viewers. All right, said. let's see. Okay, Beatrice said four and twelve. See. Yep. I like the four and the 12 because it's the smallest and the biggest, but they work together mm -hmm. and you can make that four inch block and make 12 inch the blocks. The four inch actually works with every single cube. It does, cube. okay. Now Paula D said the four inch and the eight inch. So oh. like we were talking there about, I think that's a pretty natural pairing. Yeah. And Dolly says she has the setting triangles for the eight inch cube. So that will complete her whole set. Perfect. That's what you need. Here's something else to think about. Yes. How about the six and the nine? The six and the nine is good. Yeah. yeah. So the thing about the six inch cube, again, a two by two grid makes a six inch block. A three by three grid makes a nine inch block. So, so if you have the nine inch cube, mm -hmm. think about getting that six inch cube. Yes. I know. They all work together. I know. I love it. All right, quilters. It is time for us to give away our final prize of the day. Wait till you hear now, we just want to say thank you to our quilters one more time for registering for today's event, and we're doing it in a big way. Let's do it. The second winner of a Coke Cube Mix and Match 5 inch cube, holy smokes, is Big Drum Roll, please. Vicki M. of Springfield, Illinois. Congratulations, Vicki. Oh. You're going to love the 5 inch cube. 
Good prizes today. Good, My good prizes. goodness. Gorgeous fabric, cubes. Wow. All right, quilters, remember we have several Markdown 5 inch cube mix and match bundles available. To order now, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party. You'll see the bundles and place your order. Our first bundle is that Go Cube 5 inch complete die bundle. This one comes with the Go Cube mix and match 5 inch block, the Go Cube 5 inch companion set corners and angles, the 2.5 inch strip cutter, the six by 24 inch cutting mat, the Go Cube mix and match book by Eleanor Burns, and a six by 24 inch quilting ruler. And the second up is the Go Cube five inch die set. This bundle comes with the Go Cube mix and match five inch block, two and a half inch strip die, six by 24 cutting mat, that great pattern book by Eleanor Burns and a six by 24 ruler. That's right. The third bundle we have available is the Go Cube five inch exclusive on point die bundle. This one features the Go Cube mix and match five inch finish block with the companion sets, corners and angles, the setting triangles that go with the That's five inch need. size, which you absolutely need, a six by 24 inch cutting mat and that Go Cube mix and match book system pattern book. And last but definitely not least, we have the Go Cube five inch exclusive die bundle. This includes the five inch cube, the companions, corners and angles, that great Go Cube mix and match block system pattern book. Okay, and before we go on, yes. I'm gonna grab it so we can show oh, okay. what's in it. So these are great books. Both of the books featured in our bundles are fantastic. Take a look but at this, this one. this is one we don't talk about very often. No, we don't. So it works with all sizes of the cubes and it gives you pattern books and instructions and fabric requirements on how to make some amazing blocks. Yes, it's really fun. It's really, it's a great book. And it uses the cube and the companions. Yep. All right, don't forget quilters, you're going to get those double reward points when you place your orders today. You and you can use those reward points towards future online purchases. All right, and remember you can quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit accuquilt.com slash financing. All right, quilters, it is time for us to go sew. We have got more quilty ideas spinning around in our heads for next week's show. So we hope you are as excited as we are about all the create, creative possibilities with the five inch mix and match cube and the 10 inch and all the new patterns that we shared with you today. All right, be sure to join us again on Tuesday, August 2nd at 12 noon central time for a new Die to Try launch series called Becoming a Quilting Scrap Star. Wait, Erica, if it's a new Die to Try, hmm, hmm. what's the current Die to Try? Well, it's the Lucky Star, which we absolutely love. And we were down to around less than less 20. Than, uh, I'm sure it's less than 20 by now. I mean, we're prob we're gonna run out by the end of day. Yeah. So you need to get your order in for the Lucky Star because with our Die to Try program, they're only around for one month or while supplies last. Right. And this one's been a huge hit. Yeah, this is the one we made in the Christmas fabric and because we're never to be outdone without Halloween. Here's the one I made. Here's the one she Halloween. made with Halloween fabric, which I love. Okay. All right, now Tuesday, we're gonna be sharing August dye to try, which is bound to be every bit as popular as July. And we are gonna be joined by a couple of our experts, Vicki Parrish and Marianne Fontana. They're going to be sharing the most exciting project using this new dye. And you and I both love this dye. Love I feel this like dye. this dye is probably in my top 10. This is my new favorite scrap busting dye. Wait till you see what we've come up with. Now you can register for this event on our events page for the chance to win door prizes. And it's going to be tons of fun, so be sure and tune in. All right, so don't forget that Lucky Star, it's only available to the end of the month or until we've sold out, which will probably be the end of the day. Quilters, if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is the time and here is the link. You'll need to make sure you get your five inch mix and match cube, companion sets, and those setting triangles, of course. All the things you need to get started and remember to AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye. Bye-bye.